point today against uh, Sweden. How pleased are you with the, the point you got? Yeah, I, I think both managers, I think Ben would be, <laughs> could have gone either way today, couldn't it? You know, um, I think it was probably a fantastic advert, advert for League Two football, yeah. uh, the way it was played. Um, end to end stuff, not so great for a manager at times, but um, I think that's our best return in chances created this season. Um, and you know, everyone, each either team had their moments today. To be fair, you know, we've hit the bar, they've hit the bar. You know, we've had a goal disallowed. Um, overall, we've we've had 18 shots, they've had 13. And uh, yeah, it was it was one of them. You could have won. Uh, but in the end, we got a point, and it was we were knocking on the door, weren't we? Yeah. And we get it in 83 minutes. Fantastic header from Fraser. Um, you know, brilliant. He's our captain, our leader, and uh, you know, gets a great goal. And then ah, just near the end, there a few little flashes across goals, goal, and you know, boys are just so close to it. Rose has had that one at the near post, and Nicky Cabama with the header yeah, across the face of the goal as well. Yeah. You know, but look, overall, pleased that we, we fought back from, from the goal. We can see that disappointed with the goal, really. Um, but overall, good performance. Just on the Swindon goal, then, what, what disappointed you about that? Um, the, the way we, if you, if you watch, people will say that, that Swindon, probably 20-odd passes and, and score a, a good goal. But the way we pressed on it, I don't think we, we were at our tempo when we pressed on it. And... Uh, few things we'd allow them pass through us and uh, I think there was a bit of laziness in there and, and that disappointed me and and that probably sounds a bit harsh to the group but you know I think we've got to be better in those moments. And what about the disallowed goal in the first half of the Cobblers? You know, there's, a, there's a quite a gap between the Cobblers in inverted commas scoring celebrating and the goal being wiped out. Any complaints about the fact that it was wiped out? Yeah there is. Um, I feel that uh, Fraser's held his ground, their players run into him and then uh, scored a le legitimate goal it felt and then uh, obviously uh, there was complaints from the opposite bench and then uh, the four started getting on the microphone to um, the, the referee, the referee allowed it, yeah. the, what's the biggest thing for me, the linesman allowed it and then the four from there all the way probably 45 yards away um, is is on the mic as soon as their bench jumps up. Now that's extremely, that hurt. I told him as well. Didn't get booked this time though, John? No, I didn't get booked, but I told him in no uncertain terms for about 10 minutes, I couldn't help myself. Yeah, talking of bookings, three players booked for dissent today. How concerned are you about that? Or is that just the nature of the game and people becoming passionate and, and, and saying their piece because they care so much about the Cobblers? No, I, w I wouldn't like that. I think we've got to have a, a more even temperament, but I didn't even realise that. Him, and now I'll, I'll investigate that a bit Whoops, more. Whoops, I've dropped them in trouble. Yeah, three, yeah. Four cautions, three yeah. for what appeared to be dissent anyway. Yeah, just, just with the game, you, you, I didn't, the game had so much about it today, I didn't really notice that, that moment, those moments. That they were, I knew we were booked, and I knew that we, one or two were on a, a little edgy moments. But I, I think Rosie's was for the goal, and obviously, yeah, <laughs> rightly so, he was quite frustrated by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so a good point today. What about the crowd today? Because it's the first time that Sixfields has, has been rocking in that way. That seemed to help the players, didn't it? Oh, look, you know, second half, they, they really lifted us um, and stayed positive with us. And I, I'm, I'm glad they did. And I think you do when you see a team fighting uh, as hard as we did and never say die attitude. So oh, I think it's great we're, we're starting to be really connected with the fans. You see on um, Tuesday night, I think the goal celebration shows how much the, the players yeah. are really enjoying having the fans back. And, and that celebration, the picture, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. So look, yeah, great that the, the stadium's rocking it. And that's, that's the way we, I think that's the best football we've played this season. And that's the way we want to entertain the fans. But we're trying to, but you have a team that always, tries to stop you and I don't know what else people want we're in third position well we were in third position and whatever happens today and however it lands you know this team's a work in progress we're trying to play like that and even better week in week out but it's not always the case it's not always going to happen
You mentioned the chances created, plenty of chances created today. The likes of Kabamba and the Tete just need that first league goal, don't they? Just need that, that chance to fall for them and they can, they can open their, their league account. Yeah, they can. Uh, look, you know, they, they've got to keep arriving in the box. The deliveries, the quality was much better today. Um, and uh, keep arriving, keep arriving between the posts and it'll come. And uh, you see them in training, they finish well. And it's, um, I don't want it to be uh, a, a mental block or anything. I'll, I'll, I'll give, the freedom, give them the freedom to play, but when those crosses are coming, we need, need them arriving between the posts. And it'll come, it'll come. You see Keon today a couple of times, you know, a corner comes in and a little surprised by the, the header and should have got a better contact on it, more cleaner, and he, he'd, he'd score. But it's just a little bit of belief as well, Tim. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Just finally looking at the next Saturday, the, the fixtures don't come any, uh, the, the, the fixtures continue to be tough ones. Today against the highly rated side, next Saturday against big spending Salford. It doesn't get any easier, does it? No, look, you know, Salford, um, you know, yeah, all right, big spending Salford, but, you know, that doesn't mean anything in this league. It really doesn't. I think uh, a lot of teams are very even, and you see again today, you know, quite a very even contest and I think um, I think it'll be another tough challenge we're looking forward to it we've got good form away from home and um, let's hope we bring some um, good support up there as well well on that very point last time they played there more than a thousand Cobblers fans wow. helping them to a, a 2-1 win that kind of support so that kind of support this time next Saturday would be would be great wouldn't it well, it gives you tingles on the back of the neck you know uh, for me as a manager it's just how proud you are that 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 they back you that that much to to come away you know I've got to say you know about the 161 at um, at Newport to, to do two away journeys on the spin like that you know they're spending their hard-earned money I just uh, I hope they appreciate the effort we put in as well and uh, we certainly appreciate their efforts of being there good stuff thanks John